Welcome back to The Unsolved. Today, we will be discussing the case of Tamala Horsford. On November 3rd, 2018, Tamala Hosford, a 40-year-old mother from Georgia, attended an all-adult sleepover at her friend's home. The next day, she was discovered on her stomach, face down, on the lawn, unresponsive. From the discovery of her body, a 911 call was made. It is reported that Horsford was drinking and went onto the balcony where she accidentally fell. A coroner's death certificate listed her death as an accident with the fall causing multiple blunt force injuries and acute ethanol intoxication, known commonly as alcohol poisoning, which they believe may have led to her fall. What was supposed to be an all-woman's night slumber party ended in a mysterious night of questions. Tamla's body was discovered by the homeowner's aunt at 7.30 a.m. 911 was called around 9 o'clock a.m at the same house. The strange part is that there were three men who attended this sleepover. So out of 10 people present, no one seems to know what happened to Tamala. Please listen to the 911 call. Forsyth County, 911. Hi, yes, um, I, I need an ambulance and a place to my home. What's the address? 4450 Woodlake Court. 4450 Woodlake? Woodlet. Woodlet, okay. All right, 4450 Woodlet Court. What is your name? My name is John Myers, J-E-A-N-N-E. Okay, and your phone number is 609. Yes. Okay, what's going on? Um, we had people over last night when we were drinking. Most of us went to bed. One of them stayed on the balcony. She was drinking, and we just went out outside, and she's laying face down in the backyard. It looks like may I'm guessing maybe she fell off the balcony, but she's stiff. Okay, is she breathing? I, I don't. I don't know. If she's face down. Okay. How, how old is she? At 41. Here, hold on. Hey, this is Jose Barrera. Hey, have y'all checked to see if she's breathing? She's not moving one bit. She's not breathing. Um, okay. I just tried to assess her Tesla. She's completely face down in the yard. Um, she is stiff. Okay. Do you know if she, um, um, do you see any blood or anything? Where she... uh, Are you there? I am. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not, I was outside. It's okay. I'm not sure what happened to Alana for a second. Do you see any blood or anything to where, at, from where she fell? Um, I, I don't know if I should move her over. I mean, she's completely face down. Okay. I mean, can you just check and see if she's breathing? If, if she's not breathing and you, and you know she's gone, then just leave her where she's at. If she... Okay. One minute. Uh. I'm completely not sure. Okay, and that's the only blood that you would see? That's what I can see without moving her over. I had okay. a face. Um, do you know if she, um, do you know if she was suicidal at all? It was stated by one of the attendees that they were all on the balcony drinking and everyone went back inside, but Horsford stayed out. They think she continued to drink and fell off the balcony in the middle of the night. The fact that no one checked on her until the morning is a bit perplexing. 
The Bull Woman at a Forsyth County house party is drawing a lot of interest here and across the country. Many, including her friends, are not convinced this was an accident. Jose Barrera is a witness who used his position with the county to get the police report. He was fired for doing that. The report shows that he told detectives the woman fell to her death. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik reports from Forsyth County. He also got the report and exclusive video from the party. Happy birthday to you. A source gave us this video of an adult slumber party last November in Forsyth County. One of the attendees was mother of five, Tamala Hosford. Another video shows her talking to what appears to be a very drunk partygoer. The next morning, have y'all checked to see if she's breathing? A 911 call about a disturbing discovery. She's not moving one bit. She's not breathing. The man making that call was the homeowner's boyfriend, Jose Barrera, seen in this video at the party. We first told you last week about how Forsyth County fired Barrera after they say he misused his position as a probation officer to access incident reports about Hosford's death during an active investigation. Here's what he told dispatchers. Uh, I'm noticing a small right cut on her right wrist. She's not breathing whatsoever. I don't know if this cut truly was even though a death certificate someone provided to us claims her death was accidental and after a fall from a balcony that caused multiple blunt force trauma, do you believe somebody murdered her? I do believe that her life was taken from her, yes. Best friend Michelle Graves says a family hired medical examiner found extensive injuries all over her body. But it's impossible to get the injuries that she had from one fall. According to a copy of the incident report we got a hold of, witnesses told detectives all of the females in the house were drinking heavily, that Tamala arrived with a bottle of tequila, and that she was very social and kept engaging in conversation when everyone else was trying to go to sleep. I'm just trying to find out what happened to my friend. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik is live in Forsyth County this hour. Mike, so what is the sheriff's office saying about this now? Jovita, a spokesman here at this office told me that they just got a copy of the final toxicology and autopsy reports, and they plan to update us on their investigation soon. Meantime, we got an email from an attorney representing the homeowner who says everybody at this party has been cooperative with detectives, and they say in a statement, quote, each of the party goers and their families have received death threats on various social media postings. They say the threats need to stop. This is a tragic accident. That's exactly what it is, an accident, they say. It is unfortunate, sad and unbelievably heartbreaking to her family and her friends. Jovita. All right, we'll be waiting for more information, Mike. Thank you. Although the case of Tamla Hosford is closed, her death still remains unsolved.